Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to achieve whatever you are seeing in the screen. Okay, here you can see we have one text box and I put YouTube in that text box and when I clicked on the search button, you are seeing tweets and results so I hope you understood about this screen. So let's start. Here I am not going to develop anything from scratch, I already did this earlier so I am going to demonstrate you each and everything. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on Repositories. Let's download Twitter API code. Downloaded successfully. Let's unzip this project. Let's import this project in IntelliJ. See it's a Grails project and for build tool we are using Gradle. Click on OK. Project imported successfully. Let's run this project. There is a button you can at the top next to the project. Let's click on this run button. See it is starting. See configure successful. Server started and running on 8080 port and environment is development. Let's copy this URL and open it in browser. See it's working. Let's search tweets for Google. Click on the search button. See tweets searched successfully. So here you can see 50 latest tweets about Google. You can see the profile image, person name, know of a retweet, tweet content, location of the person, and date. Now let's search tweets for Facebook. See it's showing. I hope you understood the idea behind this project. Now let's search tweets for Twitter. See it's showing. And if you click again on search. So in the meantime, if somebody else tweeted then the list of 50 could be different. You can see one button on the top right side. So the button is like save a tweet. So functionality for this button is like if I want. I can save the tweets also. Let's open H2 database in the browser so I can show you the table details. Click on test connection. See test successful. Now click on connect. See basically three tables are available like my tweet, query, and tweet. Let's query for my tweet. See no data is available. Let's query for query table. See no data is available. Now let's click on save tweets button. See it's showing message like tweets saved successfully. Click on OK. Now let's check the database tables. Is data saved or not? Let's first query for query table. See here one record saved so whatever I query it stored. Now let's query for my tweet table. See it save data with query ID 1. See the concept is very simple I hope you understood. Now let's search for Instagram. Tweets fetched successfully. Now let's click on save the tweet. See tweets saved successfully. So now the question is like why am I saving? So answer is like next time when I search again then it will not fetch from Twitter it just fetched from the database. Now let's check the database tables. Let's query for my tweet table. Now you can see 100 records with query ID 2. Now let's query for query table. See here record saved for Instagram. Let's search for Facebook. So here tweets fetched from Twitter database. Let's search for Google. So here tweets fetched from Twitter database. Let's search for Twitter. So now it will search from H2 database. See it is working. Let's search for Instagram. See it is working. First, let's open build Gradle file. So if you don't know Gradle then this file is like Palm and Maven. Here you put all the dependencies. See here we added two dependencies, one for Spring Social Twitter and one for Bootstrap. Now let's open application YML file. See here we configured H2 database. See here is the environments, and for development this URL I modified. So here you can see database name I used devdb. See this is the Twitter icon which we are using. Let's open jQuery Twitter JS file. So here I added two Ajax call one for search and one for saving tweet. Code is very simple. 
URL contains like Twitter so this Twitter is the controller name and after that search tweets or saves tweets so these are the method name. Let's open Twitter controller class. So here we will communicate with Twitter service. Here we declared one array list. Here is the search tweets method. As you can see here first it will check in the database if no result then it will fetch using Twitter API and add tweets and array list and returned as tweets. Here is the search operations method of Twitter template that will return tweets if we pass query in the search method. And here is a method for saving tweets. This method is simple. So based on query value it will search the tweets and save accordingly and return JSON message. Let's open the domain classes. Here is the query class it contains only ID and query. Let's open my tweet class. See here we declared six fields and to maintain foreign key relationship here is the property called belongs to. Grails are very simple to learn. Let's open Twitter service class. This class we annotated with transactional. Here is the get Twitter template method. So to get the Twitter template object we need four values like a key, secret access token and access token secret. So now the question is from where we can get these four values. So for that, we need to open Twitter developer page. So here when you mouse over you can see many options. Click on apps link. See here I create one app called test Twitter. You can also create an app using create an app button. Click on the details button. See here is the basic details about the app so when you create your own then need to add some description. Call back URL and app usage. Call back URL is important and 127.0.0.1 is nothing but the local host. Now click on keys and tokens link. See here are the four desired keys so you can copy these when you will try this example. Now click on the permissions link. Here permissions are read and write. I hope now you can also create your app. And here are the other methods. Save the query. Grails supports meta programming so to query everything from DB is very easy. For more detail, you can download this project and explore. Now let's open index.gsb file. So this file will help us to draw initial page. Now let's open search tweets GSP. So this file will help us to draw tweet div. See there are many things you can do. This video is just giving you the overview of basic functionality. Now I hope you understood everything. Nobody is stopping you to download this project from GitHub. You can download and replace the four keys and it will work like the way it is working here. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.